Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth holiday Lego set I'm going to be reviewing. We're going to be reviewing the Holiday Main Street Winter Village Collection Lego set. This released last year and I was unable to get it, get it but now I do. This is set number 10308. Comes with uh, 1514 pieces and it retails for $100. I mean, that isn't that bad for $100. Look how much you get. You get a trolley, you get two stores, and then you also get like a, I think a little tr trolley stop. You get a big Christmas tree right there. So that's really cool. We're just gonna take a look at the back of the box here. And I, we're just gonna be looking the back of the stores. Uh, it looks like this one has a room on top. I think that might be for the cashier lady there. And on the other side as well, we have a dinner table. Looks like that might be the owner of that music shop. But then it can it also shows us that you can add all the electric train powers to this trolley and run it as a power up train here, which is really cool. Here are just more pictures of the set. And now we are going to unbox this and see how many bags this set has. Alright everyone, so now we're going to be unboxing this. I'm looking for about 10 numbered bags here. Oh wow, I guess this has already been opened for me. Okay, well then, thank you to whoever opened it for me, I appreciate it. Alright, so now I'm just going to take off these glued seals here. I don't think it was even glued to begin with. Ah, yes, and the instruction manual is going to be in one of these. I don't know what they're called at the moment. I'm just going to open it up. And, whoa, I see about five booklets in here. So, the first one, we're going to be building that little stop, the Christmas tree, and three minifigures. Oh, and then here we have the um, sticker sheet. Wow, this thing looks amazing. We have over ten. Wow, those look really cool. Then the second manual, we're going to be building the trolley. The third, we're going to be building the music store. And the last and final one, we're going to be building the toy store. So four booklets, which isn't bad. I'm actually surprised it came with four. Oh my. All right. So here are the bags here. They're really big, by the way. They're not small. Number seven, number one, number six, five. Let's see what else. Uh, number three, five, two. Uh, okay, so there's going to be seven numbered bags in this set. Looks like we do have some duplicates of small ones. So there's about yeah, there's about ten numbered bags as I predicted. And now let's review the minifigures. And the first minifigure that we have here is going to be the trolley driver or the conductor. He does come with a little watch here in the pouch of his torso. I would say his torso looks fantastic. He looks pretty spiffy, not gonna lie. His legs though have no printing along with no arm printing as well. And his cap, nothing else as well. We're going with the plain stuff here. I mean, this is a holiday set. I mean, it's a hundred bucks. Putting printing on like everything is probably making 120. So, I mean, overall, this does look really cool. And uh, we're gonna go on to the next minifigure. And the next minifigure that we have here is the music store owner. His name is H Jolly. So I would assume this is him. He does come with a tan tie there with blue suspenders. He also has no leg printing along with arm printing. It's just tan pants and red long sleeve shirt we have the hair piece there along going along with the beard as well i don't think he has a double-sided face no he does not so he's just going to be a single-faced man which sounds kind of weird but overall next minifigure the third minifigure here we just have a shopper she is carrying two i would say these look like bags i don't know what they are they look like mini toolboxes not gonna lie i'll assume that these are bags one's gonna be blue and one's going to be cyan and man they just look like toolboxes but well, this minifigure is pretty plain nothing you know crazy going on all around no arm printing no leg printing as well i don't think she's double-sided faced if i'm not mistaken oh no she is she's going to have a like a very happy face 
on the other side. Next minifigure. Next, we also have another shopper here carrying more bags as well. We have red and yellow this time. And once again, nothing crazy going on. Just a green shirt, blue pants, um, a red hoodie. And I'm pretty sure she's also double-sided faced, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, once again, another happy face. All right, I'm a pretty cool minifigure. Next minifigure now. The fifth minifigure here is going to be the Santa's Toys and Games owner, if I'm not mistaken here. Uh, once again, you know, nothing crazy. But I would say this shirt is, you know, pretty detailed, I gotta say. But it looks more like a Thanksgiving shirt with the orange and, like, light orange coloring scheme along with the brown pants. So, wish they went for something Christmassy instead of thanksgiving E. Which is kind of weird, to be honest. I thought they would put, like, a Christmas sweater or something. Now, as soon as she isn't... Yep, nope. Just a single facial expression here. Alright, next minifigure. The sixth and final minifigure we have here is a boy who has a letter to Santa Claus. Yes, he's going to be delivering that letter in his winter clothes. We have, like, that... I don't know what those hats are called. But, obviously, they're, like, fluffy to keep you warm. Then we also have a jacket there and then a small blue legs. So they're not going to be in the normal minifigure size. And he also has a another facial expression. He's going to be surprised here. So uh, two mini, three minifigures with double-sided expressions. And this is going to be the boy minifigure. All these minifigures are pretty cool. I just wish they had a little more detail to them. But overall, fantastic. Alright, so here we're going to have the Christmas tree build, and it doesn't look all that bad. I'm actually a fan of this. I know that they're all the same color studs here and the stars as well, but this looks really cool with the presents under the Christmas tree in the snow as well. So I really like that. And then we obviously have the topping, which is a star. I wish it would focus. There we go. Which is a star, and this Christmas tree is fantastic. All right, and here we're going to have Main Street. This is going to be the sidewalk here. And as, as you can see, there's snow. Looks like some... Uh, I don't know what these are called. I'll, they look like gates, but they're not. I don't know what those are called. And then here we have the mailbox where the boy's going to deliver his Santa Claus list. And then we have the clock here. All around, it's going to be the same time. All around. And then, of course... With the main street road sign there all right and here we're going to have the trolley in the front we have the street name main street we also have a wreath um and then we have the trolley light in between that wreath i wish it did uh, maybe add like some of those red studs don't know what those are called again don't know and i wish they would add something like that then we're gonna come up to one side of it and then here we have some seating Right here, you, which you can put minifigures. We have like a step stool right here for people to, you know, climb onto the trolley. And then on this side, we have a sign promoting the H Jolly's music store, which includes in this set, which I'll be showing you guys after this. And then we have some more Christmassy stuff here. Another walkway that used to be one, but now there's a gate. Um, so there's that cannot be used anymore. Come up to the back of it, same thing. We have the main street sign, a wreath, and say we have the red light because that's the back of the trolley. And on the other side, we're also promoting the the toy store, the Santa's Toy and Game Store, and it says have a toyful a toyful holiday. So instead of saying joyful, toyful, because kids love toys during the holidays, so. What a great way to incorporate that. And then we have some more seating on the other side as well. And we can actually take off this. And then you can actually get a view inside. We have some more seats, red seats there. I don't know why they include four, like, eight studs, you know, two stud per minifigure. But most of the time, minifigures cannot be sitting next to each other because of their arms, so that's going to be a problem. But maximum, you can fit about three minifigures on each row, so three here and three there. And then we also have that handlebar for the trolley, to, for the trolley conductor to use. And overall, this trolley is fantastic.
All right, and here we're going to have the first floor view of the music store we have the sign up top of course before the door we have a christmas wreath there this door can actually open like so it can actually open like that and then over here we have like the glass where you can see some of the products that they sell and we have a guitar and a violin and then we just have some red flaps here that you can move however you please we have two lights on the side and then if we actually we're gonna finish the top uh, the front side and then on the second floor we have four windows along with two green banners and then on the roof we have some snow which is really cool it looks like the snow's just coming down waiting to fall we have some of the roof here some tiles some studs and then we just have these little two things which i have no idea what those are and that looks really cool i'm just gonna come up to the back so inside the store, looks like we have a clarinet, if I remember that's what it's called. And then we have the doorway here, we have some wands, we have the cash register. Uh, it looks like just some random sticker there, the guitar and the violin. We also have a drum set on the other side as well, along with two stickers on each side of the walls here. We, it looks like something that says connect, oh, holiday concert. Then on this side, it's just the brick news. And then on the second floor, oops, sorry for that. We have a dining room for the owner. It looks like he has some cookies and coffee there with two seats. And then we have the the kitchen over here on this side with some cabinets. So it looks That looks like a microwave. A really cool use of, like, to make a microwave there. We have a candle in the middle of the seat. And then the roof, there's really much nothing. So this is going to be the music, the music store, and overall, it's really cool, and I really like this one. All right, and here we're going to have the toy store. We also do have a opening door as well. There you go. That door can open. Looks like we just have some Christmassy stuff here. Ah, I keep on forgetting what those are, but I like what they use. They use like the cherries to put them on, on the studs of the green pieces. Um, to make it, I uh, that thing's called Folly or something like that. Uh, I honestly don't remember. It looks like we have two windows of the products that they sell. It looks like we have a train on this side, and on the other side we have a, um, a stuffed rabbit or a bunny, and that looks really cool. Then we have the sign up top. We also have a little bird on the perch here. We also have uh, windows on both sides as well. Another perch with some snow, and just some um, a Christmas wreath and two other stuff which i have no idea what they're called as well and then on the top is just some snow there's not going to be like a roof or anything i'm just gonna go to the back now and oh boy this is where the fun begins this toy store has really nothing yes i'm going to say it looks a little empty we just have a total of three toys because i have no idea what those two things are and that just looks like some sky kind of skyscraper we just have a toy robot over here so i would say this toy store is lacking the toys not gonna lie then we have the cash register on this side we have a hundred dollar bill and we have a clock on this side now the second floor here is going to have a bed it's going to have a nightstand with a santa list if you can see it right there yes so this owner also believes in santa then we also have a red lamp as well with a coffee mug. I really like this orange and cyan rug here. That looks really cool. And yet, you cannot forget about the Christmas tree. Yes, this one has a lot more life to it. has different colored ornaments. The presents are, are also different colors. And then just on the roof, there's really much nothing. And, oh wow. I mean, I'm just saying, this second floor of this toy store is probably going to be my favorite overall. Well, everyone, this is going to conclude our set review. I'm going to give this set a 9.5 out of 10. I just wish the minifigures just had a little more detail and the toy shop just had a little more toys. But overall, I mean, this set's fantastic. Obviously, this released last year, so it's going to retire probably next year. These sets have a lifespan of about two years. And overall, I mean, just how great this looks. And I'll see you guys. Um next week which is already going to be christmas 
So Merry Christmas. Enjoy you guys' Monday because that's going to be Christmas Day. Christmas Eve is obviously on Sunday or which on one channel it's going to be today. And see you guys next week.